Baby Herbs, get down off the stove. He is a tornado. <laughs> like, wrapped in a hurricane. <laughs> I want a nickel every time I have to say, damn it, Herbs. <laughs> oh! Oh! He jumps on the counter. Herby Burby. He'll eat everything. Do you think you could get off the table? Every what? night, he's up at 2.30. He's okay. super naughty, but I love him so much. <laughs> We were shopping for a tractor. I usually look in the farm and garden section on Craigslist, and Herbie was listed there. And it said something like, two month old baby, please someone come get him right now. We don't usually look for animals in that way, but there was something that just popped out that I was like, wow, this is, this sounds really desperate. It turned out we were his fourth home in just two months. When I got home, Josh said, well, isn't that the cutest baby I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> Making a fire with your dad? Oh, that's so nice. When we took him in, he was only two months old. He was still a bottle baby. He had no mother. He was orphaned. Wendy, in his eyes, is small. <laughs> You're tickling me. Ian is at our side most most of yeah. the day. It's just like having a toddler and making sure they're not around the light sockets and stuff like that. Yeah, except we have 84 toddlers. He has friends on the farm. He sleeps with the pigs. He hangs out with the llamas. Making friends with Herbie? There's a reason we're called Odd Mammy. We have a lot of oddball critters. Check out my work crew. We use our house as sort of a secondary barn. There's a giant piggy in the house. There is a giant piggy in the house. Anybody who's really capable of being potty trained can live in the house, and even sometimes when they're not super potty trained, they can live in the house. Boys, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. He goes out. <laughs> she almost knocked the whole computer. We need a timeout. Sid and I wanted to get to the oatmeal on top of the oven, and they ripped the oven door off. We're never going to make the cover of Better Homes and Gardens. <laughs> There's no furniture in the house. There is nothing but an igloo and pig blankets. I'm sitting on an old milk crate. Luxury items like cooking a nice meal for ourselves or worrying about folding laundry. Like That stuff just doesn't happen because all of our time is spent taking care of animals, which honestly, we wouldn't have it any other way. We work hard to try to find them homes where they can live in safety and peace and freedom with a forever family that will love them even more than we love them. I delivered a pig to his new home one day and this woman goes, are you crying? And I'm like, yes, I'm crying. I'll have to answer your questions later, I'm sorry. <laughs> Then when we get home, we're like, that's exactly what we want for a home for them. If we can adopt out more animals, we can help more animals in need. We are trying to do as much good as we can for as many animals as we can. I love you so much.